Hey, this is my monthly state of the real estate market uh, video. I wanted to talk about what has changed from uh, August to September. The big change is the market has slowed down. Uh, I think it's in due in great part because of increasing interest rates, um, a limited inventory on the uh, lower two-thirds of the market, those houses under uh, uh, under $500,000. If you look at the numbers, um, for zero to $250,000, as you can see the numbers, uh, for the most part, over the last year, September to September, you've got an, a 78% chance of selling your house. Then as you go up in price, you see that the Odds of selling your house in a year drop dramatically all the way down to if you have a house over uh, 1500000 you got about a 36% uh, probability of selling your house in the first year that you have it listed. This is, again, I've, I've uh, alluded to it over and over that we have a, the baby boomers own most of those homes, about 75% of them. Uh, they're downsizing and they're um, they're wanting to go to something smaller. At the same time, uh, Generation X, the following generation, is 25% smaller um, due to a number of, of reasons, and they're still suffering from the subprime crisis. Um, they don't have the equity that they need to move up into some of the the larger, uh, the larger homes, uh, and I would say that's from a, a million dollars up. So, what what is a seller to do? Um, and, and I think the answer is you've got to be more aggressive about marketing your home. Um, there are fewer buyers, so you have to build an awareness and make it attractive for them to to buy your home. And what what do I mean by attractive? I, I'm saying you've got to do the updates that maybe you've been putting off for a period of time, or you've got to lower the price. Um, the when there is a a becomes a buyer's market, the buyer pretty much dictates uh, because there are more choices, and uh, they don't want to have to hire a contractor to change out uh, the kitchen and and bring it up to um, the two uh, current trends. So. Uh, you as a seller have to do that for them. Um, the other thing I think that is important is you have to, to address the marketing issue. Uh, it used to be that you would put a sign in your front yard and your agent, uh, your listing agent, would uh, create an MLS listing. Uh, it, it is pumped out to all of the uh, internet sites and um, such as Zillow and, and uh, Truya. Uh, and Realtor.com and my website and then uh, the public goes through it, picks and chooses, contacts an agent and goes and see it. But you, you now at least need to have professional photography. Uh, I think you need to have a drone shot uh, in there. And for my listings, I, I believe you got to have a video. If I have a video of it, it, it and, and it's done right, it's going to draw people to the house. Uh, I have a video that I've done on one of my listings that's had over 2,000 looks, and it looks like we're, 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 we got it sold off of that video. So, in fact, the first thing that the gentleman uh, that came to see the show, he made comments about the video that I had put out. So, it works. Um, I think then uh, that video presentation needs to be car carried over to, to Zillow, uh, who will allow you to put up a two-minute video. What that does is it pushes you up into a um, higher in the queue because they like videos on their, on their presentation. And then I think you need to think about a listing agent versus a sales agent. Um, particularly if you're in the higher range of, of houses, your house is going to need to be sold. And uh, to just put a lockbox on the door and, and ask people to come in and uh, go through your house and 
isn't going to get it done. Um, you wouldn't buy an expensive car that way. I don't think you would probably, I wouldn't buy an expensive home that way. I want to know um, what is special about the house and therefore I need a salesman to tell me. Um, the other thing that I think you need to, to recognize is is that the price of your home just went up. And what I mean by that is that uh, as interest rates go up, and they have and they will continue to, we just had a interest rate hike this month and the Federal Reserve said they'll probably do another one in December, they're ratcheting it up at a quarter of a percent uh, every two, three months. What that means to the buyer is that uh, if he's buying a, a $250,000 home and interest rates are 1% higher, that means an increase of $150 in their monthly payment. If it's a $500,000 mortgage, it's $300 a month. If it's a $750,000 mortgage, it's $450 a month. That's sizable. Um, so. I would encourage you, if, if, if you've got your house on the market and you want to sell it, get it up to date. Uh, get a salesman in there and get it on the market at a decent price, a competitive price, before interest rates continue to climb. Uh, we're going to see a slowdown in this market and those are the things that are going to, uh, interest rates are going to be a big part of it and uh, at the high end there's certainly enough inventory but um, you're going to need to have a salesman in your house to sell your house. So that's the current situation. Um, if I can help you, I'm doing some creative things. Uh, I might have mentioned before I'm a financial advisor. Um, I'm working with some people about uh, doing some tax benefits that will maybe make your house an expensive house over more, over. Uh, a million dollars more attractive to a buyer. Um, so it's called, uh, it's under the IRS section 170 um, uh, tax code. So uh, if you're interested in some interesting ideas, give me a call. Be happy to sit down and explain it in detail and see if we can't find a buyer for your home. If you're a buyer, same thing. Um, I, I, I'm an ex financial advisor. I know some things that might uh, make a house more attractive to you than you might think. All right, um, Carrie Grinkmeyer, Best of You Home, Best of U.S. Homes. Uh, give me a call. Let me help you sell your home, or let me help you buy that perfect home for you. Bye bye.